the hell are you talking about? You come in here, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. That she's... We're going to have a look around, I... then we'll talk. Jesus, I'm sorry. I... All right, well, that wasn't an uh, unreasonable response for an innocent man. The alcoholism illness. He's been studying up on how to help his wife, I guess. Is that a clue? Or... Huh. You think the atmosphere is thick in the air? Wow! Rusty, you're a dickweed. You're a serious dickweed, Rusty. I'm sorry. I know Phelps can be a bit of a jackass, but you're a serious douche. Stop it. Can we get a new partner, please? Like, one with some morals? That'd be nice. The hell? What am I doing? Oh. <laughs> this is kind of funny, I guess. Move it over. There you go. Up. To the left. Down. Thanks for the offer. I need you to do something about my wife. Is the only going to problem accept? there is, what to do about the old lady. Alright. <laughs> no matter that Phelps could have figured out what that said like a whole bunch of time earlier. What am I looking at here? Oh ho! Optimistic, Cole. Really? Why would you say that? She was hitting with a hit with a blunt object and you're seeing a baseball bat just randomly lying on the floor and you're like, no, that can't possibly be important. You're so weird, Phelps. You're a good guy, but you're weird. Someone was packing to go somewhere. What size? Eleven. Size eleven. So it wasn't him at the crime scene, certainly. Okay, that's the no more clues music, so... Let's go out and talk to... Jake over here. Hi there. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? <laughs> a bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. Hmm. Um. Didn't the bartender say that Jacob had been there too last night. Maybe not, because there's no, there's nothing written down here about it. Oh, did we ever find out who has that license plate? I should have called in again about that or something. Uh, I feel like he's telling the truth. Maybe he's he's being shifty, so I'm gonna say doubt. You get the impression Damn. that Celine liked to live the glamorous life. How did she end up with a hump like you, Jacob? That's mean. Celine was one of the first woman pilots. She hung out with 
movie stars and royalty. But when she came back here broke and struggling, she married a mechanic, put a roof over her head, food on the table. Not glamorous, but the best I could do. I'm not ashamed about that. I'm not sure what that answer was supposed to be. Oh, well. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. Uh, I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. I mean, that's the same thing that... that the, um... the neighbor said, so I think that's true. So you don't remember Yay. what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but... Right around 9. Good, okay. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. You're an ass. Stop That's it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. Yes, you did. You wrote the note. I can disprove that one. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? I do, in fact. The note by the phone suggests you met her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. So you can prove that you came back here after you left your wife's place. I came back here. I was here all night. Start work at 6.30. I'm not the going out type. Have sworn that the bartender said that Jacob had been there too. The neighbor's testimony just said that he left. I don't think it said anything else. I sort of think he's telling the truth, except that his eyes are going everywhere. Doubt. So you were here, Damn. tucked up in bed, while someone was out there beating your wife's brains out. That's all you've got? Talk to the bartender at the Bomba Club. He'll tell you, he called here last night, and I answered the phone. We're still gonna need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. You're a dick. Stop it. Kill my own wife? It was a loss of the tramp, and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Oh, this will be fun. Whoa. Heads up. Heads up. I don't remember how to fight. There we go. What's this bunker? Yep, that's duck. How do I fight? I don't remember. There we go. Uh, X. No, X is to dodge. Fuck, I am getting my ass kicked. There we go, okay. Punch for fuck's sake. Cole, come on, come on, man. Come on, there we go, okay. I got it. I got it. You gotta understand, man. You can't mess with Cole Phelps like that. Call it in and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. N now, I don't condone attacks on police officers, but Rusty, you really were kind of asking for that. Just saying. Is there a f where's the phone? Uh, 
that's over here somewhere. No, wait. In here? Where the fuck is the phone? Or is it outside? Maybe it's outside. Standing. Okay. Where the fuck is your phone, dude? Oh, there it is. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. How can I help, Detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt... No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was 2-boy-8899? Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez. Of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, Detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. Well, that went well. Alright, so we got a couple of different things we can investigate. You know the way. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? <sighs> Our orders were to go straight back to Central, right? Talk to Mendez. Wait, the orders were to bring all suspects, right? So let's go get Alonzo. Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Carruthers said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're gonna get. Yes, that's definitely what we go for. Here's a hint, boys. If you want ladies' attention, don't be a douche. It usually helps. Mendez's apartment at 11.06 a.m. All right, I don't at all remember what his apartment. Oh, I didn't know in the first place. Hey, Mendez, Mendez apartment, apartment 16. 16. All right, good deal. Let's go give him a ring, shall we? Is there an elevator, or do we just go on up? Oh, there's a sign. Check out the sign, yo. Fourth floor. Here, the apartment's up on the top floor. Uh, elevator? No. Okay. Turn around. Up we go. Hope you can keep up, Rusty. Alright. 
top floor. Apartment. Don't bother knocking, just kick the door in. That's 15. You're a douche. Douche, you're a douche, you're a douche, douche, douche. That's 16. Take a look around and see what you can find. Rusty is big on ruining doors, isn't he? What's that? No good to me. Eggs. Probably gonna go bad sitting out like that. I'm guessing this isn't important. It doesn't appear to be connected. No. Circumstance. Nope. Okay. Well, the kitchen was a bust. Let's try here. Whoa, what? Phone again? Oh, no, okay. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. Phelps, Phelps, Phelps. Conveniently well lit door. Not the most subtle level design ever, but okay. Hey, it's a gun. Doesn't look like anything. What? What do you mean it doesn't look like anything? It's a gun. Oh my god. Ah, oh, come on, Phelps. Are they size eight? Now to get this array. Size eights could help place Mendez at the scene. Dun, dun. Well, hello there. Definitely glad I came here first. Lipstick. Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. Well, I will certainly say that the evidence is piling up quickly. Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. I guess this was before DNA testing. 